An adjustable anti-roll bar is one of the tools that the driver can use from the cockpit as the track conditions change. So what is an anti-roll bar or sway bar as it's also known? Well, it's located here, of course, front and rear, but at the rear, it connects the two sides of the suspension together in a way that if this car moves up and down, it has no effect. But if it rolls from side to side, in other words, you can press one side of the suspension and release the other, now it tries to twist the anti-roll bar. Here is that particular bar removed from the car. So it's trying to twist this very stiff bar. The adjustments made in the cockpit, this is the full stiff setting. As it's rotated here, now the blade is going to deflect instead of the bar, so that would be the full soft setting. Now, as far as what happens in the cockpit, it's kind of driver preference how you want to set it up. In the case of Joseph Newgarden, he likes to have the front anti-roll bar with his right hand. And the general rule, the stiffer the bar, the more it settles down that end of the car. So many drivers like to say, well, if I want more front, move the bars to the front. He goes to have a separate control for the rear bar and the front. That is done by detents. You can move that in any one of these detent positions, but of course, you don't want to look down off, take your eyes off the road, so you tend to do it by feel. And at some stages, it becomes almost automatic. But the great news, if you ever get these settings wrong, there's a digital display on pit road so the team can radio the driver and say, hey, you're not in the slot that you want to be in. Hey.